see. The sun is up. The bus will be arriving soon. Yeah. I was just dreaming about her. She must be a big, pretty girl right now. A good dream, I hope, eh? Wake up the children. They must all come along. Well, who works hard for the home and the family. A good woman does not talk back to her husband. Your mother is a good woman. <laughs> well, I sent you to Wesley Girls High School because I wanted you to have a good education. Fear of God. Of course, school without home training spoils a woman. How about your sewing? Oh, it's very good, Papa. Hmm. Can you make me a piano? Yes, Papa. Hmm. That's my girl. Hmm. <laughs>
to buy. Ah! Oh, you foolish boy. Ah. How much you send it to Cape Coast? Ah, I don't want to buy. Ah, I don't want to buy. Good boy. Huh? I'm sorry, Sister Abba. You'll be all right, huh? Joe, my Coming to your CB game? No, my father won't allow me. You are nice, Abba. Don't say such things. I'll come back after our CB game, huh? My father won't let me see you. He'll fry you alive. Hey. For you, I don't fear die. You mustn't die. I whistle your name when I come, huh? What's the name? You hawk! You better stay away from my sister, or you're dead! Come on, let's go!
I sleepy. <laughs> Baba. Yes, Papa. You may go to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm here. Okay. Papa. I can whistle your name 24 hours. Teach me how to whistle yours, Joe. Mine. You whistle to me. Your name whistle better. Can this be real? What? That you meet a stranger and suddenly your whole world, your whole heart is filled with, with, I can't explain it. <laughs> Me too. I can't. Yeah. When you call my name at OCB fight, some power start to come to my body. I feel like an like angry lion fighting tiger to save his son. Oh. Baba, you make me jump You are a poet, Joe. Poet? What's poet? You were great. A great champion. It was like David fell in Goliath. <laughs> Ah, you're a great actor. <laughs> you make me impossible, John. <laughs> I have to go to bed. Wait, please, Abba, wait, Simba. Oh, okay. Hear us. Abba, are you there? The door is locked. Say good night. Good night, Ella. Joe. Yes. Are you there? Good night, Joe. Tomorrow. Good night. Uh, tomorrow. At the beach. Good afternoon. At the beach. I want to sing you a song. A special song for you, Ella. Yes, I hear it at the beach tomorrow. I'm not wasting money on you. You must learn hard to become a good lady. I would like to see you buried into a good home. Drop outs end up with riffraffs. Did you hear what I said? Drop outs always end up with riffraffs. That's good. Where is Abba? Inside, Papa. Doing what? Sleeping, Papa. Sleeping? You are awake. We are taking Amma to the station. Yes, Papa. Take it. I said spanner, not screwdriver. Sorry. Sorry, Cobra. Uncle Joe! You? 
you meet some nice girl, eh? Yes. <laughs> Very fine, nice girl for me. I'm crazy about the girl. I think so. Who is she? Abba. Wait. Wait. Oh, we have plenty Abba in town. Abba up here. Abba up here. <laughs> the one from the chief clerk house? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that lion daughter. <laughs> what lion? <laughs> Kofi up here. Yes. <laughs> she know you are Fita. She don't mind. <laughs> See. <laughs> My love for you is ninety nine three quarters pure. Add one quarter. To make it complete. Hey, Joe. True, the girl loves you. The father knows. Hmm. <laughs> Joe. I warn you. Abba, every minute I wait is like one hour. Hey, I never feel so uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Sorry for my English. You oh. know, when I started looking around, I had a funny feeling you'd been drowned by the sea. You cry? Cry? I'll die. Oh, Abba. I'm so happy that you can be able to come. I'm also happy you could come, Joe. I'm happy that you could come. I'm so happy, Anna. So very happy. Come, let's go to some place very quiet. Eh? what I did all night. You spent all night thinking about the other girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I spent all night polishing your special song. Oh, let's hear it.
I'd love to be a fitter if I were a man. You sure? Of course. After all, it's what you make of it. I qualified for university, but I like sewing better. And of course, my music best. <laughs> <laughs> what does your father do? My father's fisherman. Don't be childish, Joe. You know what I mean. You've been listening too much to those hypocrites. My grandparents were both fishermen. Can't be. Come on, Joe. Whose grandparents here weren't? <laughs> it's your different, Abba. You know what I've always wanted, Joe? A man I can love naturally. A simple man. Just like you. It's Councillor Benza. Hmm? Councillor Benza. He's coming, Papa. Please come in. Come in. Mr. <laughs> Afia. Yes. <laughs> Please sit down. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, it's a surprise. Relax, relax. Please sit down. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Where is your wife? Araba. Araba! We were not expecting you, Councillor. Oh, please, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Well, my mission here is a simple one. My son, the lawyer, has seen your daughter on a few occasions. Oh. From afar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's mad about the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. Joe. The sun is gone. Oh, my God. I was supposed to have got some fish for the house. I'm sorry, Abba. Uh, we go to the market. We can get fish from my aunt. Will it be plenty for a penny? What kept you so long? The fishmongers. They kept pushing me aside. Oh, those fishmongers. 
when they push you, you push their back. That's the only way to make friends with them. parcel in front of the bed. Carefully lift it and bring it here. Now take off the cloth. Now remove the top. Here. It's all yours, Abba. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. It's it's so nice. That's right. Hey, Thank you. You, you go in. Hey, do go in. There is a bigger surprise for you. Sit down, Abba. You know why I sent you to Cape Coast? To become a lady, Papa. That's good. I'm proud of you. Have you heard of the name Benza? Benza. Is he the district council? That's right. You know him. You know he's a very prominent man in this town. Yes, Papa. You know he has got three prominent sons. A doctor, an engineer, and a lawyer. I've heard so, Papa. Well. Wow. He wants you to be the wife of the lawyer. <laughs> That's your knocking drink. <laughs> you brought honor to our home, Ava. <laughs> Aren't you happy about it? Yes, Papa. That's not the way to express happiness. She's surprised. Would not feel happy at such news. <laughs> I remember. I shed tears when I was first told that your father was to be my husband. <laughs> tears of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we accept the drink? Yes, Papa. That's my daughter. We are proud of you, Abba.
your father, won't you marry him? What do you say? I don't know, Abba. Yet you say you love me very much. Let us run away. No. We won't run away. I won't marry him. I love you, Joe. I love you too, Abba. But this... Oh, Mr. Mesa is a human being. Yes, Abba. your marriage? Yes, Mama. You don't love him? But why? You should feel proud. He's a lawyer and he comes from an expectable family. I love you, Mama. I love you too, my daughter. So you will marry the lawyer, won't you? I'm in love with someone else, Mama. Who is this man? Joe. 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 Kwanzaa. He's not Kojo's friend, you see. Yes, Mama. Him. Papa. <laughs> Do Kwanz. She's mad. She's mad. Papa. What is this nonsense that I hear? It's about it's about the man I'm to marry. <laughs> what about him? I can't love him. You are mad. What do you know about love? We know what is best for your future. And don't you start talking about some funny stories you've read from me. Do you hear? Do you hear? She's in love with someone else, Kofi. Who is it? Kojo's friend, the fitting mechanic. The fitting what? Joe Kwanza? I'm ruined. After all, I'm just a human being. She is a human being indeed. We are proud of what we are, and you better stay with it. They can push their parents to get the world's respect, and we will continue to fetch the fish to feed them. And it be scorned. Yes. You will force yourself to a home that does not belong to you. She simply refused to marry a lawyer because of me. She did what? Yes. If a child wants to play with fire, Give him a chance. 
Is this Mr. Afia's house? Yes. I am Afia. I'm Kwesata. Ejekum. Afejekum. We've come to see you, Mr. Afia. Could you? Take them in. to a chair in this house. You said them in my glasses. Stupid boy. Look at him. You go to the adoring, eh? And give this to Nana Bedu as my donation. I'm very busy. I'll see them later. Sit down. Where, please? Oh, anywhere. Thank you. The long and short of our visit is simple. We have come on behalf of our brother Atakwansan, to ask the hand of your daughter, Abapia, for our nephew, Joe Kwansan. This is our bottle of gin. Thank you. Araba. Sit down, hello. These elders have come to ask for the hand of Abba for their son, Joe Kwansa. This is their dream. Thank you, elders. Well, thank you, elders. As you all know, we can't decide for her. She will have to say yes or no. So, you hear from us. <laughs> Thank you. Abba! We have received certain elders from Mr. Atta Kwansa. They want you to marry their son, Joe Kwansa. This is their drink. A bottle of appetition. We want to know if we should accept the drink. The decision is yours. Yes, Papa. Yes, what? Please accept the drink. Think it over, Abba. You're not taking a wise decision. We love you. We want you to have the best. See what they brought us, Akbateshi. They at least could have brought us the smallest size of your expectable gene. Did you ever see Akbateshi in this house? What next will they bring us? Tekua, instead of a church wedding for our educated daughter. But, Mama, I don't mind Tekua. 
Listen, Abba. We want you to be happy. Do you realize your father is a pensioner? And... Abba, you must be reasonable. We love you. I love you too, Mama. Very much. But my future happiness lies with... Yes? With Joe Kwanza. I've sent your message, Papa. Thank you. This is what your friendship with that fitter mechanic has brought us. A petition. You may bring your carpenter friend to take your other sister. I got your message and I felt like coming immediately. So, you were too busy to come to the outdooring of your niece's child. Are we common or too shameful that you do not want to be seen with us? It's not the money you sent, which is important to us, Kofi. It's your presence. And let me remind you that we are one big family belonging to the same roots. And you are a member of that family. What's more, your father was a fisherman. Yes, a fisherman, just like me. <laughs> For the last time, Kofi, I would have you to understand that the roots of every scholar here are either fishermen or farmers. I hope you are not trying to cut your roots because you've been to school. <laughs> oh, no. You can't. May I ask, where do you think you come from? Jerusalem? Now you listen to me, Kofi. Your father, the man who sent you to school, never saw the classroom. And that did not make him a fool. When you die, that we must bathe and bury you. But of course, you deserve only your dead body. Kofi Apia. The family did not accept your money. There it is. It's not part of our roots. And I repeat, it's not part of our roots.
daughter needs your blessing. I have given my consent to the marriage. Isn't that enough? Goofy, please. What may I tell your daughter then, Goofy? I'll see her later. <laughs> He'll be here soon. Cheer up. Why didn't he come with you? Oh, he was fixing the car. He wants to come and show up with the old jalopy. <laughs> but the car wants some rest. He's still trying to start it. He will give up soon and come.
to say what marriage really is. I would say it is like a bed of roses. <laughs> in class three. Always second or third in class tests. When I tell my father, he say that work be too good for canoe fisherman's son. He can't believe I was good to be lawyer. And one Thursday, 1945, my father canoe crowned at sea and killed my big brother. My father then tell me to stop school, help me fish. You know, I love to fish. But because my brother died at sea, I, I, I become afraid. My father then say, try a fit apprentice. Okay. You know I can become lawyer. I know you could, Joe. I have faith in you. But a fitting mechanic is equally respectable and important. I'll get it. it last night. Never mind, Papa. I learned it was the car. Oh, yes. I couldn't get it started. Where is Joe? Oh, please have a seat. Joe! Morning, Papa. Good morning, girl. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, take some drink. Oh, too early. Thank you. <laughs> please, sit down. Congratulations, my children. Well, it is very difficult, I must say, to advise any couple on marriage. Because every marriage, as I see it, is unique. is for you, my daughter. Thank you, mommy. Mm -hmm. 
And how are you, Mr. Kufiapia? Fine, very fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you? Ah, by the grace of God, I am fine. Thank <laughs> God. And how are you, Mr. Kansa? Fine. Thank you. Well, a word to the wise is enough. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you for coming. It is my duty. Hmm. Joe, I'm inviting you and your wife for lunch on Sunday at 2. As a concert, you may come with your wife. I'll be at sea. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Take care. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you. Ah, uh, we won't take much of your time. <laughs> It's me, Benson. Lawyer Benson. Shall I give you a lift home? I have a car waiting. Abba, please. You coming? Abba. 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 Something smells good. What's cooking? Salmon quantum ray and yam. It's ready. Come right in. How about you look worried? It's nothing. I'm just tired. Do you like it? It's great. Great cooking. Did any of the girls call? Hmm. When I enjoy my food, I don't talk about girls. Joe, people must know I'm a dressmaker. It will bring in extra income. Hey, that's a great idea. We'll put up a signboard, huh? Come to Cape Coast Trained Dressmaker. <laughs> oh, you're great, Joe. Give me a few days. I'll put up signboard. Oh, I'll get letter this morning. Dear fitting mechanic, I'm not even sure whether you'll understand this simple language through which I have chosen to offer you this piece of advice. However, I suppose you can always find someone who is educated to bring the meaning home to you, in the vernacular of course. I'm afraid that the love which you have been cultivating is superficial and things that are superficial naturally don't last because they have no depth. Therefore, when Abba realizes that she has had enough of your lesser brain, she will naturally turn to the superior one. But things might be too late then. Think about it, my dear fitting mechanic. Just open your eyes and watch things closely. I remain here sincerely, Brother Ernest Frank. I trust you, Abba. Who sent this to you? I don't see him. You leave it in my boss. What is superficial? Superficial? Things that are not genuine. Not deep. Not real. You understand why someone must be doing this, don't you, Joe? I do. I trust you, Abba. Mm. 
happy when you look happy. Hello, Joe. How is it? So, so. How are studies, Kojo? Hectic. Food is ready. Please come in. Come along, Alba. You come and sit here. Joe, and you yeah. here. Let us pray. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts. gifts which you are about to receive from thy bounty. bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Here. See. 
Hold this way, Look through here. When I sit down, you press button. Let me see me through here. Do you see us? Yes. Uh-huh. Press button. Down. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. How I envy you. We were once happy like that. My love and I. He taught me a song. A very sweet song. Oh, 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 I envy you. You look beautiful. Oh, it's huh? great. Oh, no. <laughs> I chopped off your head. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, don't we look good together? It's nice, huh? We look great. <laughs> How many dresses do you make today? Oh, this is my third. Three? Wonderful. Hey, soon you need an apprentice, huh? <laughs> Ah, you look tired. You need some rest. Work and no rest make Abba a tired wife. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Hold my hand, Joe. Yeah. I feel so happy when you're around. Joe. Yes. I think I'm going to have a baby. What? A baby? <laughs> I can't ah. wait to see your son, Joe. Daughter. <laughs> hey. It's too early for the baby to kick, Joe. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Let her go. Let him go. <laughs> That's your match up there. Go to her, you damn son of a fisherman. <laughs> Sleep. 
Dictionary, what does love mean? A lawyer? An engineer? A doctor? Or is it this stiff collar that makes you feel so special? to your job. Why aren't you talking? I'm the biggest fool in the world. My poor father says so. If child wants to play with fire, give him a chance. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what fool I am, Abba. Poor fitter. Who wants to love girl from better home? Joe, what are you driving at? Look at me. Dirty, grease and sand. Do I look clean? No. I look like lawyer in fine white collar. I see your, your street love with Benson Abba. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> Isn't that fool you're worried about? <laughs> Don't be childish, Joe. He's no fool, Abba. I, I am fool. You are the biggest liar in the world. Joe, don't say such wicked things. I love you. Yes. You love me and nobody else. Joe, you're making a mistake. I was only telling him off. He's been following me. <laughs> you don't make romance when you tell him off. Oh, Joe. Huh? Oh. It's true. 
true. You can't be so simple-minded. Joe, you are hurting me. Know that I'm carrying your baby. Baby? How could a dirty man like me be father to your baby? Not my baby, Abba. Joe! Lord, I'll be better father to your baby. We don't come from the same home, Abba. Now I know where I come from. These are my people. My class people. They are my people too, Joe. No, they are not. You liar. Get away! Get away! I don't come from your home, Abba. You understand? I don't come from your home! You understand? Get away!
I lost Joe's baby. You'll be all right. You can always have another baby. Joe will see you soon. Will he? I love him. I know. <laughs> for you, Mr. Pia, from my master, Roya Bensa. What is it? Enough, you say. Take it back. Take it back! And tell Mr. Bensa to drink it. Every drop of it. Mm. How can you do that? Maybe it's my fault. Now, stop blaming yourself for it. Will she listen to us? No. She knew best, so she chose the best. You could have prevented it, Araba. How? We did what every worthy parents will do for their child. But Abba was no child. She knew too much. She had read much more than you, so she's modern, and we are old-fashioned. That's not the point, Araba. We thought more about ourselves than what really mattered about Abba's future. More about ourselves? Yes. What didn't we do to discourage her? She had found a fitting mechanic lover, which meant all the future happiness to her. <laughs> Take off the wig, the white, stiff collar, and the nice striped trousers of a lawyer. And what is left of him? A human being that beats that sleeps and eats like any other person. Yes, of course, Kofi. But he still doesn't lose the brain and the respect of a lawyer. <laughs> well, I am beginning to think that there is something much stronger than the brains or the respect of a lawyer. Almighty Benza could not get it. So it must be destroyed. No, I would not destroy my daughter for his worth. Not for all the wealth in the world. I found this at the house, Papa. Abba, I love you too much. I want to beg you for how wicked I am to you at the palm wine bar. I don't want to be wicked to you, I swear. I love you very much. And you lie to me and make love to the lawyer. And you say you love me. Maybe I am wrong about you. But I am ashamed of myself. I am the son of poor fisherman. I am sorry, Abba. But I love you too much. Bye-bye. Joe, poor son from fisherman.
this letter, do we show it to her? We better not. I would not hide the truth from her. What's the secret, Papa? from me, Mr. Benson. Nothing. Just to show you how wrong you've been. Please leave me alone. Yes. But before I go, I just want you to remember this. The crabs crawl and birds fly. Leave me alone, will you? Just leave me alone! Just leave me alone! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Hey, 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 hey. What's this? You should be ashamed of yourself. Who is it to you? It's a long story. Anyway, calm down. For you. Look, why don't I take you home to my place? and give you water to cool down. I'd like to go straight home, please. Oh, but you mustn't go home like this. Who are you, anyway? I'm Fred Dixon, an accountant. I suppose you can call me a good Samaritan. Sit down and relax. The house seems quiet. Drink it and rest your soul.
house seems very quiet. Yes. My noisy daughter has gone to college. Say money passing fast. Where's your wife? I lost my wife last year. No, I don't take alcohol. Oh, just a little. It really is good for the nerves. There. It's not strong, is it? The lime neutralizes the alcohol. Sip a bit more. What's your husband's name? Joe Kwansa. Joe Kwansa. Do I know him? I wouldn't think so. What does he do? He's a fitting mechanic. Oh. An automobile mechanic. Is he your own choice? Or your parents? Mine. Why? He's a lucky man. Very lucky. What makes him so lucky? You are pretty. And seem very intelligent. I love him very much. Funny, isn't it? He doesn't even believe I love him. He's lost. Somewhere in the wilderness. Feeling sorry for himself. He thinks I've been unfaithful to him. This faith I cherish so much. How ironic. But that's why he's gone. Lost in the wilderness. How could I break such faith? How could I? Sad, isn't it? If I can get him. If I could only lay my hands on him, I'd, I'd kill him. I'd kill Joe. I can't kill him. I love him. <laughs> Sorry. Never mind. Sorry about the way that Joe has treated you. Who is it? Abba, who is it? 
I know it. Spencer, I know it. I'll teach that stupid lawyer how to keep away from my daughter. You're going to fight the best? Yes. But we can't fight the best, sir. Act in haste and you'll land us all in trouble. As you said, we could have prevented this situation. We encouraged it. Remember? So please, Kofi, let's not act in haste. Huh? Please. Taking her to the hospital. No! This no be matter for hospital. Fukudu no! has a proper medicine for this. That no! might be good. Fukudu. No! All right. No! Let's go.
Chicago. The evil spirit has been driven off and is no more. But there is still the problem of the troubled heart, which the gods have no power to cure. A lover is missing. Where is he? He lives. Find him. He is the only one who holds the key to the troubled heart. That is the word of the God. Traveling there. Oh man, you got two shillings for pocket. Okay, sit down for Laurie.
Kujo kakata. You citrus coward. You gave me every hope that things do change. And I listen to you. So where is that thing? Where is it? Abba is different. That does not make any difference to Abba. Abba would not marry anybody but me. Now what made Abba different from the faith you had? <gasps> Abba cheated me, Papa. You weren't cheated. You faithless fool. Abba is strong and faithful. You have destroyed a good woman. This is all my fault, Papa. I've been worried since I married Abba. I love her. She warned me. I'm a fitter and a son of a canoe fisherman. I'll be all right, Papa. I needed your confidence, Papa. She warned me. Papa, you warned me. I guess you are right. I don't know. Now you are coming with me. What has happened? They just left for the mental home. Abba has gone mad. <laughs>